The April O'Neil saga continues. Every week, it seems like we're starting to get people button heads over the opinion of a fictional cartoon character. I gave my thoughts. Some people didn't like it, and Tough Titty said the kitty, but the milk was still good. I still think she's ugly and fat. Has absolutely nothing to do with the race swap. I think it's okay if she's African American. Some people don't. And guess what? We will agree to disagree. I just don't like that she's ugly. It's such a deviation. But today, we're talking about a new feud between two heavy hitters in the public figure realm. We're talking about Popcorn Planet host Andy Signor, who mocked Christianity in a bizarre attack on YouTuber Melanie Mack, claims he's only mocking her. So yeah, last week we had Eric July from Young Rippa, the Ripperverse, versus Angry Joe of Angry Joe Show fame and it, it's so crazy like what are what are times now guys where now our first world problems are whether we're gonna play a harry potter game or whether your opinion on a cartoon character is going to have people mocking you mocking your religion and trying to cancel you that's what's nuts so andy signor basically kind of went nuts a little bit um I think he made a fool of himself. We're going to talk about it right here. Because cause here's the thing. When you say something that you believe in, you give an opinion, people that tend to go in that woke side of things, and I know a lot of you guys, oh, I'm tired of you saying woke, everything's woke. Dude, that's what it fucking is. These people are Looney Tunes. These people start to always mock God. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be like a holy roller here and stuff. But they always stick their own foot in the mouth. By being their own hypocrites, they mock God, they mock people, they claim that they're into- that they're tolerant, but they're really the most intolerant out of everybody. And you're going to see right here, we're going to look at this article from Bounding Into Comics. Uh, real quick, if you don't remember what Melanie Mack said, this is the tweet that she had uh, with her opinion of the April design. Let me see if I could zoom in just a teensy weensy teeny little bit. So you can see she says, as always, people are pulling the racist card at any April O'Neil criticism. White activists at that. April's supposed to be beautiful. They could have given us a cute black April. They made her ugly on purpose. Race plays no role in that. I'm a Christian who believes in the Bible. I don't care what kind of phobe I am called for that. I will not compromise my faith for anyone. So two, two tweets right here that are going to be used against her from Dear Andy. Now, I agree with her point. We could have had a cute black little April right there with the little plushies on the right. Instead, we got Lunch Lady Helga. We got the newest drafted linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, A far deviation from April O'Neil. And I know a lot of people in the comment sections that have no problem with this stuff are like, why are you so angry? Are you racist? No, I'm not racist. Again, I don't have a problem with the race swap at all. I have a problem with the deviation from from the source material of the character. Um, you know, they they purposely made April O'Neil ugly. They do anything attractive is not good anymore, guys. That's the agenda. That's the narrative. It's like the the biggest beautiful type of thing that goes on uh, nowadays. And there's nothing wrong with loving who you are, taking care of who you are. But let's look at Andy's tweet. So he. Uh, I guess didn't quote tweet. He screenshotted and tagged her in it, and you could just see right off the right off the bat, little insufferable. That's the thing, you know. No one else is allowed to have an opinion, or else you're going to get attacked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, there, there's such thing, you know. Okay, it's fair that he's criticizing her and stuff, but why do they always have to have some kind of level of attitude and sass? towards uh, the people that they are disagreeing with. They always try to take it personal, and it, it's just nuts. So you can see, amen at Melanie Mack. Was it Proverbs 14.21 or Colossians 3.12 that said, whoever dwells in the shelter of KFC too long will be denied entry by the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, April O'Neil will only be beautiful if she's young and skinny. God doesn't promote this. And what's funny is, you know, he thinks he's being clever using scripture. But that's, you know, again, I'm not trying to be a holy roller, but it's not, honestly. Trying to use religion against people and mocking Christianity or mocking any religion is definitely 
not a good look, especially when the example that you're using is KFC. You're mocking a person's religion because of an opinion of an African-American cartoon character. And the example that Andy came up with was KFC. So who's the racist bigot now? Who's the racist bigot now that you're the one that not only mocked religion, Christianity, and a female, you're mocking African-Americans by changing scripture to say KFC. Who's the racist bigot now? And then on top of that, he says God doesn't promote this. Well, God doesn't promote your type of fucking nonsense either. You're witch hunting. You're you're attacking others. You you guys that claim tolerance, but you're not tolerant. So he got, needless to say, pretty much buried. There was a couple guys here or there that agreed, uh, but enough to the point where he had to clarify. And, you know, when, when somebody has to clarify, that's when you know that their back is in the corner and it backfires. But you can see he says, for those of you misreading my clear sarcasm, mocking her, I wasn't agreeing with her. I'm saying God wouldn't promote the hate Melanie Mac, Melanie Mac is supposedly preaching. She could study. She should study the two scriptures I actually quoted. They could teach her a lot. And you can see Josh Johnson says, KFC, Jesus, dude, of all the places to eat, you pick the stereotype. Andy says, if anyone's stereotyping it to you, and that's the thing, typical typical deflection. You know, sure, because Ninja Turtles are known for fried chicken, not pizza. You could see. Understood, Andy, and no harm intended. Still poor taste to use her Christianity to mock with. It is. It's in poor taste. Who's perfect but God? We saved by grace, not by works. You should speak to her about Christianity and being kind to folks instead of labeling someone not skinny and white as ugly. And here's my point. Here's my good point right here from Great Sword Enthusiast. Where in the Bible does it say you can't make fun of fictional characters? And, and even then, I would venture to say Melanie Mack wasn't making fun of fictional characters. She was giving her opinion on <laughs> on a fictional design of a fictional character you know it's it's actually kind of weird <laughs> that criticism on a design of a fictional character saying that we could have had a skinny cute black april is being touted as hate um i i have no idea where andy gets off on that <laughs> that's just your feedback like if i drew something and it was ugly and somebody said it was ugly I wouldn't say that they're calling my drawing, you know, hate speech because it's not a real human being. It would be different if, you know, Melanie Mack or whoever was actually attacking a real life actress and it was like a live action April that was plus size and African American. But no, it's a cartoon drawing, you fucking fool. <laughs> so uh, just looking at it, man, uh, I think this dude thought he had a base tweet and uh, I think. You know, criticism isn't hate. Promote hate towards a cartoon character. She isn't preaching hate, you misogynist. Andy is a guy that has to explain everything because he thinks he's superior to everyone else. Far from it. He couldn't make it in Hollywood. Wouldn't be surprised if he didn't make it in Florida. Just a matter of time. Anyone who has read the Bible for longer than the length of the average TikTok video would tell you beauty is the ideal humans should aspire to in body, mind, and soul. This change only demonstrates the designer's lack of virtue, as does this comment show your own, own lacking. So, yeah, for whatever reason, guys, if, if you say anything like <laughs> fuck that, that doesn't fit whatever they fucking want to preach, the only reason why people like this are liking this version of April Nil is solely because she's not a white, sexy female. That's exactly what it is. They see African American, so that's one checkbox. Then they see fat, that's another checkbox. I mean, the way it's going, she might be lesbian in this. Not that there's anything wrong with lesbians. I love pussy too. But again, you're taking a, de a far enough deviation from a character as far as looks go, personality, you know, their race. What's wrong with just creating a brand new fucking character? And anybody that 
has any kind of criticism, what's wrong with just saying, okay, that's your opinion. I don't agree with it. Like, like, why do you have to mock their fucking religion, Andy? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just wanted to point this out, how, how fucking unglued people are becoming over people's opinion on a cartoon character to the point where they're attacking their religion and who they are as an individual and a person. It's fucking nuts now. Jesus. Jesus. As I'm saying Jesus in vain, right? I'm not mocking anybody, though, and labeling them as haters. So <laughs> there's that. Anyways, let me know your thoughts, guys. I'll see you on the next one.